Okay, pilots. Man, I got a big one today. This is a Dynam. Dynam. I love them. Dynam. Tiger Maw. <laughs> I've only got a few biplanes, but we're going to see what we got. Thanks again, Paul. This is another one of them that I got from Paul. appreciate Paul for keeping all the original boxes and even the box that they shipped in he must have kept all this stuff or maybe even when he bought these they was like this somebody took care of them and kept the boxes it's not really my bag baby I can get rid of the boxes they in a dumpster at the work at work Matter of fact, my boss man's gonna kill me with all these boxes I'm putting in his dumpster. <laughs> He's gonna make me pay next month's bill. Ooh, this is a big one. seen a few videos on this plane and and one one modification was is the landing gear there's there's a strut coming out this way hooks up to the top of the fuselage well you shorten it flatten it drill a hole in it to put it back in and that that breaks the landing gear forward a little bit helps on the tipping but we've got 1,270 millimeter wingspan, 14.8 volt. So that's a four cell. They recommend 2,800, but you better not fly with one. You better fly with one bigger. 40 amp ESC, 850. Let's see, is that right? Let me get my glasses. 650 kV, 650. Flat weight. 1450 grams. Lipo power and transmitter. Uh, let's see. Four channel. Four channel. Four channel. There's four channel. That's a speed control. Yep. Now, it's got the two controller picture and the, and the uh, receiver, but sometimes it'll have that in the same box, but just won't have the stuff in it. So let's see what we got. A bright yellow. A bright yellow. And let's see if we take it. Right, Dynam puts their parts and stuff in boxes. Here we go again. Here's our decal sheet. It ain't put he ain't put decals on it. So this thing got to be brand new. It's got to be brand new. And it got the decals on. Huh. There you go. I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video what I'm really gonna do with this plane. It's gonna be an EQRC special. How much you look here? Look. I mean, these even props in here, it's not even for this plane. Here's a full blade prop. 
I'm not a full blade prop. It looks like a prop for a, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's just a dime. 10, 10 by five. Full blade prop, that's a standard prop for their, their P51. Uh, I think they put it on the Spitfire. And then see, we got uh, bushings there for them. Yeah, that might be props for something else. I don't know. I'll have to look up that number and see. That could, oh, that's, that says reverse prop on that one, reverse rotation. Huh. And so that might be something for the B26. And, man, I might could put, boy, if I could fit them on that Catalina. I don't really might be too big. It, it might hit that fuselage if I put them on that Catalina. It might get some sort of fish. Five. Three bladed. Four bladed. Like I said, I don't know if Paul bought this like this or if he buys all these extra parts and everything, man. But like, man, is, the man has hooked me up. That's more, my goodness, it's just, it's, just stacked, it's just stacked in here. They just stacked in here. I'm gonna open up a hobby shop with all these diamond parts. Are you kidding me? I put them on eBay. Good God. Right here. Oh, I finally found the props for this plane. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little baggie here. We got a little bag here. That's full of stuff. It's got landing gear parts. Prop. You gotta be careful not to lose nothing. thing at a time here. These are the wing struts. Wing struts. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Now I tell you now you might lie. You might lie. But there's your spinner. There's your spinner now. We've got a spinner on but you might laugh, but, but man, I love Dynam's glue. That's a phone tape. I love their glue. The glue works good. And we got all kinds of screws. I mean, just, God, I can't count them all. Got a big net for this prop. Got some some uh, servo on, uh, horns. I mean, it's just cool. Now this is this is neat. This is pretty neat. I've seen a lot of videos on this plane, and, and pilots they just they just love these. They just love them little guide wires that you put in there, and they say that all these labels just show you exactly how to put them together. If you just go by the instructions, you can't you can't miss. And they do. They kind of bring a detailed look to it. Now here we go with some landing gear. Now, yep, collars on the inside maybe, and it's flexible, and, but it allows movement. See, see the two middle arms there? Just allows movement. See, with weight on the plants like this, weight off, and then it comes in, lands, maybe it just springs it out a little bit, and helps out. And then plus the, the struts that are going forward onto the fuselage also you really don't tighten your screw you kind of leave it loose see everything's kind of loose yep i don't see no bends in here man it ain't like somebody's crashed this thing bent the landing gear all up and i two wheels Looks like standard dynam foam wheels, which work good. But if you run them on asphalt, they ain't gonna last long. And here's our windshield shield. And there's two of them in there. Yep. And here's our prop. This is our prop. This is 
Bottoms. Let's see here. Now this is this is twelve by six. Twelve by six pump. And you ain't gonna believe it. But I've gotten I think it's in this box over here. show you some some things to the night uh, okay don't know if this plane has pilots I don't think it has crew but we was looking at the prop we was looking at the original factory prop and Adam on aviator he he kind of gave me an idea and I kind of searched it up and I found it. This is an old, this is a, a XOR. I'm going to spell it for you. X-O-A-R. That's a 13 by 8. So there you go. There's my wooden prop for my Tiger Moth. Just a little bit, a little bit longer. Oh yeah, a little bit long. Okay. I like these little pilots. I like these guys. If I'm not mistaken, these are, I'm thinking they, they FMS pilots, if I ain't mistaken. But I, I bought them so long time ago, I can't even remember. But note the goggles there. That's not factory. I took epoxy and dripped it onto their eyes and let it level out. And then I just painted a tan frame around it. Could have done better with that, but you know, you, you might be a better painter than I am. But I mean, you know, don't it look like a set of goggles on? Huh? <laughs> okay, this is what I'm gonna do, pilots. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you when I get the fuselage out. <clears throat> I got a wire harness, of course, down. Supplies you with a wire harness, I see before flaps or other ones and since this ain't got no flaps this is for the other, other ones. We got Dynam's instruction sheet. And they say it, it tells you what to do. At least it gives you where tells you where screws goes and things like that. And that's all you really need. Gives you a CG. Gives you a CG down there in the corner. Pictures of parts diagram and it's also got that real nice diagram of the cables wing support cables diagram of where you put your decals i mean you know if you put a hundred of them together pilots it's just you know second night it's just the little little things with dynamite you got to, to might have to work with maybe a servo might be not working right. A lot, of, a lot of times the, the tail wheel might not be hooked up right. You know, there's little things you gotta mess with. Little love, little love. Let's see what we got here. I don't want to pull. Let's get the fuselage in. I feel the prop show. So these got to be wings. 
Okay. Some more decals. They always give you a little decal sheet with the instrument panels. Tapes turn yellow. I'm not cutting all my other ones. This thing's been in a box for a long time. Goodness gracious, it's even got a piece of cardboard in between the wings. Now that was back when maybe Dynam had some good employees. Individually bag and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, and, and the bag's not been opened. It's still got the factory seal on. Still got the factory seal on each end. Of course, pilots, you know, the, the, the virus there has hurt a lot of people. Hurt a lot of people. And I actually got a friend request from Dynam. The actual company, Dynam. So I accepted, I, you know, and I wrote them. I said, I really love your product. Can't wait to see stock in the stores. Well, they sent a text back. Well, you know, Facebook, whatever. We sure appreciate your support. But it didn't say anything about any kind of stock being sent out or anything. I didn't ask. I just gave them a thumbs up. But I'm sure that the COVID has really put a hurting on them people over there. All right. Now, you got to be careful with this tail rudder. You gotta be careful with that foam hinge on that before it snaps and breaks off. If you'll notice the tail wheels on it, but they give you this little bracket to kind of, kind of bolt up there onto the fuselage once you get it together. But I, I, I there's a couple friends on the chat, sir. They'll take, you know, foam tack glue and put it in there and let it glue on one side and then put it on the other side and that works. It works good. But I, I've got some hinge tape, so I just cut a piece of hinge tape there and put it on there. It's pretty thick. I mean, it's pretty thick. Matter of fact, that groove that's cutting it right here might not even be wide enough for me to use that hinge tape because you know, it'd be real, it'd cut the movement down maybe so much. But man, I don't see them walk on it. I mean, that's a nice dynamo motor. Sometimes you gotta put a little bit, a little bit bigger tail wheel on a dynam if you can work with it. If their little strut there is big enough to put something else on it, you can. Here's your elevator. You got a single bracket going in here, connecting two sides. So I'm gonna exercise my surface just a little bit before I put the hinge tape to it because I'm gonna do the same <clears throat> do the same thing to this one. I just wanna move it a little bit. Yep. Got a, got a, got a spar going all the way across it there. Line up pin, line up blocks, whatever you want to call it. Got a little glue right there with that glue. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna have some mold markings on control surfaces. I got a big string of glue here where they glued that strut in. But you can see them all across there. But pilots, I'm gonna be painting this one too. I'm gonna be painting this one too. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna turn it into here in just a little bit. Here's where those wing struts bolts up. You got one here and you got one over here. They go into the fuselage for support. Let me 
careful not to knock anything out while I clean that. But it still has the factory seal on it. Still has the factory seal on it. Now, like I said, I've watched video on this one. And a lot of the pilots say the wing looks like it could be could be straightened, you know, and kind of worked on a little bit there. But nine, nine times out of ten, after they put the wing plane together and everything, it, it kind of made it better. Now they got they got spars all in this one here. Spars all in it there. Now that looks like, that looks like a top wing to me. Let me look at it here. Yeah, that looks like a top wing to me. Now that thing ain't got a flaw on it. It'd be a diamond wing, I'm telling you. It ain't got a flaw on it. That thing's looking good. These ripples, you know what that was? That was a radiator. That was a radiator. Yep. The bullet went through it, got it leaking, it would leak right down on the pilot. And he bitched about that. So they figured out a different way to do it on the next model. I would too. It's got all that hot water falling on me. Yeah. Okay, there's no ailerons in this part of the wing. Stuck to something in there. I don't feel no blue spot. Must have been his turn on something. It's looking good. It's looking good. <laughs> I love them see through dino servos. Let me get on this thing. Yeah. Hey, they work. Yeah. Plastic gear. Spars all in this thing. How many spars all in it? Maybe they, they've done something to improve that or something. Maybe I don't know. They ain't new one. These wings got no warpage tool. They're looking good. Looking good. All right then. Here we go. I always love to see the prop shaft sticking through the outside of the box. Down 
things on this side. Nothing on that side. Thin cow, I better not hold on to there. Oh, yeah, that molds for the door, panel lines for the doors, two pilots, canopy going on the front here. Yeah, that cow. It's, it's thin, but it's not really there to support anything. But it's just kind of intake for the air here. Goes through, goes over the ESC. I can see the ESC right in here. Uh, there you go. Right in there. But it's in good shape. Laying lock on. It's all yellow. No smudges. Two pilots. There are push rods for elevator and rudder. The mounts there on the side for the tail struts. And let's see here. Magnetized cockpit. Battery goes way up under here. Got the two servos for the adjustments on the control surfaces. XT60. Oh yeah. All the leads are marked. 650, right? Am I right? 650s, is it what it says? Can't see it. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, okay, that's what we do about this. All right, now here we go. This is what I'm gonna do. Stand him up, make a platform for him getting higher. We're back in the back seat. Okay. He's gonna be up higher. That's gonna be down into the palm that far. Pretty much gonna be like right in here. How do you like me now? And I had all. But wait, there's more. I told you it wasn't gonna be yellow. I got my wooden prop. I got my Vickers machine gun and pilots. I'm going with the old school British camo. I'm going to go with a dark green with just a little bit lighter green spots here and there on it. Underneath the wing, I'm going to paint tan. Underneath here, it's going to be tan. It's kind of like the original color of canopy. And the top is going to be the camouflage. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be an old World War I two man fighter. Now they used, that, that was pretty much the first 
biplanes that ever you was used in war was a two-man spider. And when another plane would come up there to shoot at them, the back seater would pick up a pistol or a rifle and just start shooting at them. That's all they had. Until they eventually put machine guns on them. So that's what I'm gonna turn this one into, just an old World War I two-seater. Vickers machine gun sticking out the back. How you like me now? <laughs> I'm out.